In today's Chatty Get Ready With Me, I'm sharing some bargain drugstore makeup perfect for us over 50 gals that I think you're going to love. That's coming up next. Welcome back. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Today's Chatty Get Ready With Me is going to be a lot of fun because I'm trying a new palette that I haven't used yet and I found it on sale for an incredible price and I'm excited to share that with you today. If you're new here, a very special welcome to you. I hope you'll consider subscribing and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. As usual, all the products I talk about today will be linked and listed below, and they'll also be over on the blog, so super easy for you to find. And with that, let's get into it. My face is all prepped and ready to go, and this morning I did my new face device, which I love, and I also dermaplaned my face or shaved my face, so I should have a really smooth finish on my skin today. For sunscreen, I used my current favorite, the Dermatology. This is an SPF Broad Spectrum 45. Love this stuff, and I also have a great coupon code for it, and that'll be down below. So if you're in the market for a sunscreen, this is a good one, and the price is great with the coupon code. I've gone ahead and done my eyebrows, and on my lips, I have the Nivea Blackberry Lip Care. <laughs> I love this stuff, and it just puts such a nice rosy glow on my lips. I really appreciate it. I've gone ahead and primed my face. For my eyes, I've done the Milani eyeshadow primer. Love this stuff, but this tube is just about empty, so I think we're gonna have to move on to a fresh tube. And for face primer, I use the Catrice Prime and Fine. This has a little bit of a glowy finish, so that's why I look a little bit dewy this morning. I really like this primer a lot. If you're looking for a more dewy look for your skin, this really seems to do it for me. I'm really excited about the eyeshadow palette today. We're gonna to be using the Bold Obsessions from Milani. <laughs> Am I blinding you? Isn't that a pretty gold cover? But it sure does reflect, doesn't it? Milani created this series of 12 pan palettes and they're all fabulous. This one is the Bold Obsessions. The reason I'm so excited about this is because it's an excellent palette with beautiful colors. They came out at $20 a piece, which is kind of high for a drugstore palette, but I was able to find this exact palette on Amazon right now for under $9. So if you're looking for a fun new palette, or if you just want to spice up your life a little bit and add a new eyeshadow palette at a great price, it's on Amazon right now as of today for about, I think it's $8.97 or something, which I think is a great value. I haven't used this palette yet, but I'm really excited about jumping into these colors. I actually think I can read the names of the colors on this, so let's see how this goes. I'm going to take my crease brush and dip it into this color. It's called Slate All Day. It's a very, very neutral, grayish, very light taupe. And I'm very, very lightly going to put that in the crease. And I'm working a little wounded today. I don't know if you can tell, but I have a burn spot on my eyelid where I burned it with my curling iron. There may or may not have been a cat involved. So I'm gonna be very gentle with that part of my eye today. Oh gosh, this is a pretty color. It has just a little bit of shimmer to it, but I think that's gonna buff right out with my blending brush. I really wanted to put together a cool toned eyeshadow look today just to change it up a little bit. I'm going to bring that down on the outer third of my movable lid just a little bit. Another great palette in this series from Milani is the Sultry palette. It's actually one of my favorite palettes. Now I'm going to take a flat brush and tap it into this creamy color. It's called Bear It All and that's going to go over the movable lid. Now I'm going to take a more detailed brush and tap it into this blue gray here. It's called Smoke Signals. Just a real gorgeous dusty slate blue gray. And that's gonna go just in the outside third of my movable lid up into the crease a little bit. Just a very, very light application. Now I'm going to take my blending brush and just blend all those colors together. I don't wanna move that blue very much. I just wanna soften the edges into the other colors. If after applying my eyeshadow, it looks like it's going a little too far down on the sides of my eyelids, I just take a Q-tip and run it right along the line I want and just really clean that up. And then I can soften it out with either a blending brush or my fingers when I'm done with my eyeshadow. Now I'm going to dip my finger into Sands of Time over here. It's kind of a shimmery champagne -y shade and that's going to go over the center of both movable lids. Oh gosh, that's pretty. This is really a gorgeous palette. 
Now I'm going to take my flat brush again and tap it into Bear in Mind and that's going to go right underneath my eyebrows just to add a little highlight to that area. Now I'm going to take my blending brush and just soften out those edges on the sides of my eyelids. That's it for the eyes for right now. I'm going to move into complexion and today for foundation I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Plus Olay Advanced Radius Foundation. I've only used this a couple of times and again I can't remember how it really performed so we'll see how it looks today. I'm going to start with just about a pump and a half on the back of my hand. Then I just like to dot that over my face. It feels stiffer, it feels more moussey than a lot of foundations. So I'm curious to see how the radiance part shows up. Then I just start smoothing that out with a foundation brush. So I just smooth that foundation all over my face. And then I always go back in with a blending sponge and just tap it out. It just makes such a beautiful finish on my skin. I have a confession to make. <laughs> I have been so interested in the whole tiny house movement lately and I'm not even really sure why. I've been watching a ton of videos here on YouTube about tiny homes. There's one channel I really love. I think it's called Tiny Houses Big Living or something. There's a lot of channels that have similar names but this particular channel is a really really good one and I'll link it down below. I started watching these videos gosh, a couple of months ago, and now I'm watching at least a few every day. It finally dawned on me about a week ago what it is I love so much about the concept of tiny homes. I don't think I could personally live in a tiny home. It's not wide enough for me. I think the space might be a confinement issue. What I love about the whole concept is the creative use of space, the creative use of elements and materials. There are some tiny homes that have such great ideas and then I think, wow, who thought of that? That's amazing. And I'm pretty sure that that's what I love about it. I think that I would really enjoy the process of building a smaller home with more land around it. I'm much more of a smaller house, bigger property type of person and incorporating all these clever uses of space saving devices and dual purposing and repurposing of materials. It's just the whole thing is fascinating to me. So tell me in the comments down below, are you into the whole tiny house thing? I'll list the channel down below if you want to go over and take a look. It's just so very entertaining. The foundation is looking really good. I can't say it's really radiant though. I'm not sure if they mean advanced radiance because your skin looks more radiant or the finish is more radiant. So I'm not really sure about that. I can say that it's a good thing I had that glowy primer on underneath it because I really think that it's helped keep a more dewy look of this foundation. For concealer today, I'm going to be using the Truly Yours Concealer from Joa. My girlfriend Jeannie over at Get This Glowing, this is her favorite concealer, at least for a drugstore brand. I haven't fallen in love with it quite as much as she has, so I keep trying it again to see if there's something I'm missing. So that's what we'll be using today. It's the Joa Truly Yours Dark Circle Concealer, and I have the color light. It comes with a little sponge tip, but I just ripped that thing right off. I don't really like those. So I just twist it at the bottom and have the product come out at the top. I'm just going to put a very little bit underneath my eyes. It, the finish of this does remind me of the Pretty Vulgar Concealer that I love so much. I'm not sure that it blends out as smoothly as the Pretty Vulgar, but we'll see today how I like it. I'm going to go in with my sponge and just smooth that out. To set my concealer, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. HD Finishing Powder and an angle brush also from e.l.f. Just put a very light application underneath both eyes. Then I go back in with my sponge and just blend that in together. That concealer is looking pretty good. Bronzer today is going to be the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is such a cult classic and I love it too. So I just place the bronzer all around my face and then go back and blend it in. This is a little bit warmer of a bronzer than I've been using for a while, but it does just blend in so seamlessly. And in with my big fluffy brush to blend that all out. So I'm curious, do you think you could ever live in a tiny home? <laughs> I don't know if I could. I suppose... You know, the width of the house might bother me a little bit, but if I had a huge deck or patio out in front and lived in an area where I could use that a uh, majority of the year, I think I could make it work. I'm not really sure. How about you? For blush today, I'm going to be using the Flower Beauty Blush Balm. I got this a while ago, and I don't know if you saw the video where I tried it the first time. I didn't really care for it. I had used it with a stipple brush. 
Then I saw a video where they had just tapped it in with their fingers and I tried that and I love that application for this particular product. It looks so pretty. It's not the type of blush where it's gonna be really obvious. It's more of just a nice glow on your skin. So I just start with a little bit on my hand like that and tap it in very gently right to the outside of my cheeks. I just think that's such a pretty look. How do you like it? For highlighter, I'm jumping into the Wet n Wild Golden Flower Crown. This is such a pretty highlighter. It's just a few dollars at the drugstore. It's really just a great buy. And let me put it on the back of my hand for you so you can see the color. It's kind of golden. I think it'll go good with the eye look today. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to put a little bit on my fluffy angled brush and then just tap that to the high points of my cheeks. And then I always like to put just a little bit in the front. Go in with my blending brush and just blend that out. To finish off the complexion, I'm going in with a big fluffy brush and my Milani Prep Set and Glow. And you can see this is almost gone. I love this stuff. Just put a light coating on my brush and then just smooth it all over my face. Before I do my tight lining and mascara, I'm going to go back into the Bold Obsessions palette with a tiny little detail brush. I'm going to dip it into this smoke signal, which is that deep blue-gray slate color. And I'm just going to run it over the outside third of my lower lashes, just very lightly. I want to tie in the color from my upper lid down to my lower lash area. I'm going to take a clean blending brush and just blend that out so it's a very soft edge colorway down there. I'm going to hop off now and do my tight lining and mascara and I'll be right back. For tight lining today, I use the Rimmel Exaggerate Pencil. I love this pencil, and it has one of those little rubber things on the tip to help you smooth out your liner. It's really lovely. And Lashes, the Luminous Lash Paradise. I haven't used this in a long time, and I forgot really how good it is. I think my lashes look really full and lengthened from it. For lips, I'm going to be lining my lips with Nude Suede Shoes from NYX. The lipstick I'm using today is from Joa, and it's the color Yes. Y-A-S-S, I think is how they pronounce it. This is the most beautiful nude color, and it's really one of my favorites. I wear it quite a bit. Isn't that a pretty lip combination? Here we have the finished look. For me, the star of the show today is absolutely this Bold Obsessions palette from Milani. It performed beautifully. Every color that I used, I loved. The formula is terrific, and to be honest with you, I have been using the Milani 12-pan palette in the sultry version for quite a while. I thought it was one of my favorite palettes, which it is. I think I like this a little bit better because the variety in colors is a little bit broader. So I can create a lot of different looks from this palette, whereas the Sultry palette is really more of a neutral palette. So I'm loving this Bold Obsessions from Milani. The fact that you can get it now for under $10, I think it's like $8.97 or something on Amazon, I think is such a terrific bargain. 12 pans, nice size pan size. So absolutely, this was a hit with me today. The CoverGirl Plus Olay Advanced Radius foundation. It's nice. It looks terrific. It doesn't knock my socks off. I can't say it's one of my favorite foundations. It doesn't really have a glow to it, so I'm not sure what the radiance is referring to. I am glad that I used the Fresh It Up More Dewy Primer from Catrice underneath it. I think it gives it a more dewy, moist effect. I'm loving this blush balm from Flower Beauty. It's so fun to work with, and the glow that it gives on the skin is just nothing like you can get with a powder. So if you haven't tried this, you're casting around for a different type of blush, I can really recommend this. It's a lot of fun, and I think the color is very pretty. The Wet n Wild Highlighter and Golden Flower Crown, love this. It's a huge pan of product for just a few dollars, so you really can't go wrong with this offering. And the Lash Paradise was such a treat. I hadn't used it, I don't think, since, gosh, I think I've had this tube for almost a year, maybe since the end of last summer, and I'm really, really impressed with the way my eyelashes look. So this continues to be a big hitter in the mascara category. I wanna thank you for joining me for this chatty get ready with me. I hope you found it useful and helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. 
And if you're new here, a very special welcome to you. Be sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the Over 50 woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me, and particularly in these stay-at-home times, you've made my home life a lot more fun, and I appreciate that. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skin care, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day, wear your sunscreen, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.